This is Professor Russell James coming to you from Texas Tech University. Welcome to today's lecture from Visual Plan Giving, an introduction to the law and taxation of charitable gift planning. Welcome to Charitable Gift Annuities Part 4, Special Charitable Gift Annuity Types. This is Professor Russell James. To this point, we have been considering the simplest and most common form of a gift annuity where the donor makes a gift and in return receives lifetime payments from the charity. Although a charity is not allowed to offer annuities with a guaranteed return in the event of premature death or annuities paying for a set number of years, the tax code does permit a few other gift annuity variations. Note that if a charity were to offer gift annuities with terms outside of approved variations, the charity would be required to pay taxes on income earned from the gift annuities as unrelated business income tax, thus making them highly undesirable charitable giving vehicles. The most common variation on the traditional gift annuity is the gift annuity that pays for two lives. This means that the annuity payments will continue to be made until the death of the last of the two individuals to die. The payment is not reduced at the death of the first to die of the two annuitants. Most commonly, these gift annuities pay for the lives of the donor and the donor's spouse. However, there are no requirements that either annuitant be related to the donor. A gift annuity cannot, however, pay for more than two lives nor can it pay for the life of someone who is not yet born. For example, it cannot pay for my life and the life of my first child if he or she is born before my death. The American Council on Gift Annuities also issues suggested rates for these two life annuities. As before, these rates vary depending upon prevailing interest rates and the ages of the two annuitants. The full table is much larger than for single gift annuities, given the wider range of age combinations possible. This excerpt provides a few examples from that table. One particularly attractive variation of the standard gift annuity is the deferred gift annuity. If the donor does not need the income payments to begin immediately, the donor may choose to postpone the start of the annuity payments. Each year that the donor postpones the start of the annuity payments will increase the size of the remaining payments. This may be helpful for donors who wish to make an immediate transfer, receive an immediate tax deduction, but postpone income until some future year, such as the start of retirement. The donor can either establish in advance when the annuity will begin or can decide each year whether or not to begin the annuity in that particular year. This is sometimes called a flexible annuity. For an example, see PLR 97.43054. The essence of a deferred charitable gift annuity is that if the donor postpones the start of the annuity payments, each remaining payment will become larger. The American Council on Gift Annuities suggests a compounding rate which incorporates current interest rates and the reduced longevity of the annuitant. If a compounding rate is so high that it increases the overall value of the annuity beyond the simple immediate annuity, it will reduce the available tax deduction. For example, in 2016, the payout rate would be the current rate in effect at the age the payout begins multiplied by 1.0325 raised to the power of n, where n is the number of years the payout was delayed after the initial gift. In other words, this is a 3.25% compound annual increase in the remaining payment size. The deferred or flexible gift annuity also creates the opportunity for a donor to make a gift but retain an emergency right to receive payments. This can be helpful with a donor who does not anticipate ever needing the payments but who nevertheless feels insecure about making a gift because of unknown possibilities. The donor can choose to postpone the payments indefinitely and at death the charity would receive the entirety of the initial gift. Although the amount transferred to the charity is the same as could have been transferred through a bequest, this transaction allows for an immediate income tax deduction and also allows the charity to make immediate use of a portion of the initial gift. 
If a donor purchased a gift annuity and then later found that he or she no longer needed the annuity payments, the donor could gift the rights to all future payments to the charity and potentially receive an income tax deduction for that gift. This could be more tax efficient than receiving each check, which counts at least in part as income, and then gifting it back to the charity, which creates a deduction that may or may not completely offset the income, depending upon a variety of factors such as the amount of other itemized deductions, adjusted gross income level, and so forth. The typical charitable gift annuity makes lifetime payments to the donor. However, the donor may instead select someone else to receive payments as the annuitant. This is a potentially taxable gift if given to a non-spouse. So for a donor whose estate is large enough to be concerned with estate taxes, such gift tax considerations must be considered. Although, as discussed later, such gifts can be reduced by the annual present interest exclusion because gifts of immediate annuities are considered to be gifts of present interests. One creative variation on a charitable gift annuity allowed a donor to name his grandchild as the life annuitant with the lifetime payments to begin at age 18. This particular annuity had an additional provision that allowed the grandchild to trade the lifetime income for an equivalent lump sum tuition payment at the donor's alma mater. Because the annuity was issued by the donor's alma mater, this created an attractive incentive for the grandchild and a potential double benefit for the university. This has been Charitable Gift Annuities Part 4, Special Charitable Gift Annuity Types. Join us next time for Part 5, Risks for Charities.